because like they hatched. We're like, uh, what are we gonna do with this? We have a giant stump grinder coming to destroy this stump where they live. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> where are they gonna go? made a lot of progress. This is our biggest stump. Ugh. Now I gotta rake all these chips. Now I have to rake all these chips out so we can find out how much of the stump is left so we can get finished. So we can rake dirt over it and plant grass and be done with the stump. <sighs> you can barely tell where the stump was. There's a little bit more to dig out here, but the high point of that pile there is where the baby bird nest was. So we had to move them. Right, here's the uh, collapsible barrel that we moved the nest into and then hit it over here. Put the towel over top of it to keep the wood chips from flying right into it. Um, since this is the end that is open and then threw all kinds of stuff around it to keep the dog out of it because she would love more than anything to eat some birds. Oh, look at my garage. I think we're gonna have to clean the side of the garage. My pretty blue paint. Ugh. I have some ranking to do. like a rock. A greenish rock.
raining. But today's the day that we're doing all the work, so we're doing all the work. So I've been putting chips out in the front flower bed. My pink azalea is blooming, yay! And the bright pink, it's actually kind of purple. Um, rhododendron that was up to the gutter and absolutely huge that we cut down in order to paint the house uh, is growing back quite well and has lots of really giant blooms on it. So yay, I'm happy about that. The flower beds were originally all filled with that red beauty bark that is absolutely terrible. And on this side, there was so much of it that I was able to just spread it out when I tripled the size of the flower bed because it was about a foot and a half deep. Uh, so I didn't have to rebark that area. Come on, focus, there. So that's already barked, but maybe I should put this stuff over it so it all matches. I don't know, how weird is that? Half and half. I think I'm gonna mulch over all of it just so it all matches, because red and orange is weird. Another load. Flower bed looks nice. Well, there we go, it's all orange now. All the same color all the way across. It only took a whole bunch of wheelbarrow ro loads. And back there's the stump and a whole lot more wood chips. Get back to work. Stump number one. Stump number two. Still gotta do the last of that one. for rain. Why is it going to rain again? At least it's warm. All right, we should check on, on the other stumps. Okay, so stump number three. It's a massive pile right here next to the sandbox. Well, not really a sandbox. Yeah, it is a sandbox. Here's stump number four. This one's done and raked out. We got that one all cleared up. And then I know Neil took the chipper back through the woods back here. Uh, yeah, it looks like there was a stump right there. A little one, like a mostly rotten one. And then apparently he did one here because uh, that dirt pile wasn't there this morning. Oh yeah, there was a tiny, tiny stump right here. A tiny stump. And, there was a and then there was one. this one here. So, Stump it, gone. He shut it off. Let's go check on him. Look at these tracks. Yep. It's got cat tracks. They're everywhere. Nope. We can still go look. Oh, I lost track of how many stumps. So were we like... Was that six? Was that six stumps? I lost track. Okay, there was another one right next to our bonfire spot. 
So this is the bonfire spot, and then this is the big old stump that was right next to it. Well, if you saw the old videos where we did a fire, there is a big stump right there. Yeah, so the stump is going now. Yep. And then one there, and one there, and then where he is, there's one, two, three. He took out the first one already. Oh, and there was another one down there, right on the edge. That's why we got the really big chipper. Oh, it's really starting to rain more. Yeah, we might want to go on it. Maybe. I already put some chips on the garden. I was gonna put some on, on the, I was gonna put some more wood chips on the orchard trees. And the huckleberries that I transplanted, I was gonna put some more on the base of those. I, It was as tall as that one. And it was a newer stump. That one right there has been down a good, I'm sure at least 10 years. on the garden. Ta-da! One more little flower bed done. <laughs> That's heavy. Hard to get it moving. Whew. Neil's making some progress. Stumps. I could show you. This big huckleberry is taller than me. I don't know, eight or nine feet tall. Hope it'll make it. I think it will. <laughs> I'm so tired. That was a lot of shoveling. Um, I went in the house, laid down on the couch. Avery said, what's for dinner? I said, I don't know, you're making dinner. So he said, mac and cheese. So Avery made us macaroni and cheese for dinner. And that's what we ate. And I didn't make dinner because I'm tired and I don't want to. The birds are flying, the mom and dad bird are flying in and out. I don't know what kind of bird they are. So the, the really big stump, so the biggest stump that we had, the cedar stump next to the garage that's 
a good six foot diameter, like huge, huge dump. Um, we went through it after we'd already reserved the uh, stump grinder and pulling the weeds out from around it and clearing out from around it, we found a baby bird nest. Um, teeny tiny little eggs, teeny tiny little nest. Um, and they were just the little eggs. Well, we uh, confirmed the appointment already for the stump grinder and we've been wanting to get these stumps out for quite a while. It's been almost two years, I think. I think almost two years that since we cut the trees down and the stumps are still in the way. So we want the stump out. We've made the reservation. They're gonna come drop off the equipment. Uh, but there's these baby birds. And then we checked on them again and they hatched. So they're flying in and out, feeding the baby birds. And there were two hatched, maybe three. It was hard to tell because they were born that day and one egg. So I ended up scooping up the nest because there's no way that they were gonna survive. So I scooped up the nest and moved it to a new spot a little ways away inside of my lilac. And thinking, okay, maybe mom and dad will watch me do it and they'll find them. Well, after about an hour, we realized mom and dad are not gonna find them. They kept going back to the stump and looking at the empty spot and being sad. And I felt really bad for the birds. And then so we moved the nest again to over next to the garage um, where the birds kept landing when they were looking for the nest and they still couldn't find it because these birds were born the same day, which was yesterday. They were born that day and they weren't making noise yet. So I ended up moving the nest into a big collapsible barrel that we had and moved it right back to where the nest used to be, put the nest inside the barrel so that they were really only about two feet away from their original spot. And then the mom and dad found them and started laying back on top of them, keeping them warm and feeding them again. So they're gonna survive. I really think they're gonna survive. So this morning we started moving them away. We moved them a few feet away. And then a few hours later, a few more feet away. And then by the time we were ready to start running the chipper, we had moved them up against the front of the garage where they are safe. And then we threw a bunch of the kids' toys around it to keep the dog from getting uh, to the birds and mom and dad bird have been coming back and taking care of the babies and I think that they're going to survive so let me show you the birds all right if we walk over to the garage you can see all our junk that we piled up here uh, they're inside the barrel they're down in there so if we come around this way Oh, Mama Bird is on there. I don't know if I can. Doesn't show up on the camera. If I lighten it, ooh, see? Mama Bird is sitting on her nest. We have a little flower pot in there that was my original plan of what I was gonna do. Um, but it just didn't work. So I threw a pile of weeds in there, threw the nest on top in the little flower pot, and Mama Bird's sitting on eggs. So I'll try and get a little bit more video tomorrow and hopefully you can see the babies. Because I know everybody wants to see baby birds. Because I do, so I'm sure you do. Um, I think we're done digging on stumps for today. Uh, and it stopped raining. Thankfully. Uh, get my color back to normal. There we go. Uh, we got to finish digging around the edges. To find the edges of the stump. Because this is a really huge stump. And one side is right here. And you can even see where there's a uh, a rock embedded in the wood. Like the tree grew around a rock. And then there's more over there. And then there's the other side is all the way over here. So I don't know how well you can see perspective on here. But it's a really big stump. Just take my word for it. There was at least a truckload of wood chips off the one stump. And I've already removed a lot of it. So that's what we've been doing. We'll do a little bit more of that tomorrow. And I'll try and show you the baby birds tomorrow. And tomorrow. Tomorrow! Now it's tomorrow. Or today. Uh, Sunday, May 
17th. Uh, everything is the same. Uh, it rained a little bit more early in the evening, but pretty much it's there's still all the same sawdust there that I still have to move. And Neil's already started this morning. A um, couple things are not the same. The uh, stump grinder uh, won't fire up this morning. It ran for a little bit and then it stopped and now Neil's been troubleshooting getting it working again. So he's taking a break and shoveling witches. Lots to do. Alright, back to work. Now we gotta clean it up. Dad? What? When I was playing Forza, yeah? when you were grinding up that stump over there, Dad, Yeah. when you were grinding up that stump, uh -huh. I, I could barely hear it. I yeah. thought it was that. It sounds as good as that. Well, it sounds pretty similar. Yeah, but it was that. The thing yeah. is, it was sounding what? good. Well, day two went by pretty fast. We did a lot of raking and moving chips, and now I'm just raking out underneath the cedar trees and putting chips in places to make it look prettier because we have a significant amount of chips to use up. Uh, the baby birds are still doing well. The uh, Mom and dad are coming back and feeding them and keeping them warm, and so I think the baby birds are gonna make it. So yay, we saved the baby birds. It's May 17th. We are like exactly two months into this stay at home thing in Washington. Um, we're getting a whole lot of yard work done, not getting very much work done, but school, yard work, playing, kids are getting in a lot of Minecraft. Um, some things are staying the same, some things are changing. My hair's a little bit more gray than it normally is. Believe it or not, that's not because the salons are closed. That's because I'm not going anywhere, so I don't care to color it, because I do it at home. Um, I feel bad for all the salons that are closed. Uh, they need to work. They need to make money, and a lot of them are small business owners who are not eligible for unemployment, so I feel really bad for them. So as soon as they open up, go back and support them, support your local businesses. Um, hope the quarantine ends soon. Thanks for watching Adventure Avery. Bye!